started as a dream team freedom we done started in the basement Whipping up a record giving genesis a basement hey family so if you follow me only on YouTube or Instagram, you probably think that I just do makeup. And I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I serve in our local church. I also have a cooking business on the side. I do cook and sell food. And I'm also a makeup artist. So as far as my food goes, I would say it's pretty easy because I do make and sell Puerto Rican food. If you're in the Atlanta area, I got you. I love my culture, my people, and my food. And if you live in the South, you know it's not easy to come by here. So I had to become a pro at making my own. In that process, I had many people come to me asking if I sold because they wanted to buy it. And as far as beauty, makeup, skincare, anything beauty, in the past few years, I've tried my hardest to only purchase from Latina owned brands. That means using it on clients, or just supporting the brands when they have a new release or supporting a small Latina owned brand. I'm very intentional. I do my research before I support a brand. I wanna make sure my money is going back into my people's pockets. And I also make sure I'm intentional to promote these brands. Hopefully one day I'll have my own to promote. I also make sure I share with my clients where I got this product, where they can find that, or even being intentional about educating, whether it's my family or friends or, you know, the Latinas around me of how important it is to put our dollar back in our community and how big our dollar is and how important our Latina dollar is. I really think it's extremely important if you are a Latina owned business to categorize yourself as such because people like me, first of all, I want to shop for my people. I want to invest in my people, but also show that we can do it. It's important to let people know who we are, what we are, what we're about, and why our culture is important to us. I think it's so easy to fall into the daily, everyday life in America and just, you know, go about the motions where it's easy to forget where we came from in our culture. And before you know it, that's rolled on into our children. They did so much, they worked so hard to be here. So it's important for us to keep our culture alive for them, for our children. So our children have culture and their children's children have culture. So today I challenge you to do a little more research than you would or invest in yourself and your business. You can do it. We can do this. So whether it's a business license that's holding you back or whatever it may be, I hope and pray that you go after it. That way you can be the next Latina owned business that we can purchase from. That's it for today. I forgot to mention, but if you don't already follow me, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at She's Blessed X3. But my food Instagram is Pitas Fritas. I'll leave that down below too. Bye.